Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sky from 5 here with an unboxing of a GPS by Garmin. This is the new V57LM, stands for Lifetime Maps. I did get the 5 inch model here and it got it for around $95 off Amazon. So I know a lot of people don't buy these anymore, especially in 2017. I'm purchasing this because I think a standalone GPS is still very worthwhile. You don't need to worry about paying data. Uh, if you want those people who don't have unlimited data like I do, and my smartphone also has a very small screen. And the navigation that came built in with my car sucks. So Garmin's really one of the best GPS and the, my family's been using them for a while. So I decided to pick one up for my own car. So just to give you guys a quick tour around the box. And this, like I said, this is the 5 inch model, however, I do, there is the uh, 6 inch model option that you can choose if you want an even bigger screen. So you're first greeted with the system right here. So this is what 5 inches looks like. So with the lifetime maps, you just go on their website and you just hook it up to your computer and just download the latest maps. There's also the lifetime traffic one, which I decided not to get because I don't think it's personally worth the extra money. But if you really want to have also lifetime um, traffic view as well, you can purchase that. Alright, so here's what it looks like. Let me just put that to the side for now. And underneath we also have some cables. So this one is the mini USB. So you can see it still uses mini. So you can see kind of how outdated this is. And this is the dash or window mount here. So this is we go on here and then this will of course attach to the GPS right here. And then this is the charging cable to plug into your auxiliary power outlet in your car. And we got some broken pieces of cardboard. And finally the welcome guide and most likely warranty information in this little packet here. Alright, so let's just take a look at quick tour around this device and let's see if I can power this thing on. Uh, so starting with the back, here's where you can see the mounting bracket would go. Mini USB for charging and also syncing. And there's also a slot here for a micro SD card slot for expanding the storage of the maps I suppose. And there's a power button right up here which I'll press in just a moment. Looks like there's nothing really else on the sides and of course this is a um, it's not capacitive, it's a resistive touch screen. So, so I'm going to press this. It looks like there is no power whatsoever, so let me just go ahead and plug this thing in. Okay, so I can set stuff up here. Alright, so typical stuff here. I might do a full dedicated video on actually navigating this thing, but I don't want to make this unboxing video too long. But also just to note that how short this cable is. Let me see if I can turn it over here. So <laughs> it's like maybe a foot long, the cable that they came with. But uh, this is really only for syncing and not for like long term charging anyway, so they really expect you to keep this thing charged while you're having it in the car, that's why they come with the uh, other adapter. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Looks like you can't find me right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this unboxing video. If you have any questions, again, leave it in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, please support the channel by giving a like. And subscribe to my channel to see the review video once it comes out. Thanks for watching, guys.